Welcome to your favourite day of the week, everyone, where it's our favourite time of year again. We're leading up until Christmas every single day. We're going for a strange, funny, and just downright bizarre story which has happened in history. Yesterday, we went through the deadliest warriors in history, and today, we'll be predicting the apocalypse with eggs. So let's see what's behind door number 12. Mary Bateman, the Yorkshire Witch. So it seems like every year we have some new nutcase telling us how the world is going to end and this is actually the year it finally happens because they have received some supernatural sign from somewhere. Well in 1806 that somewhere was actually chicken eggs with the message written on them Christ is coming. A message which is proceeded to believe to proceed a message which is believed to be the proceeding of the end times. The person responsible is this lovely lady here, Mary Bateman, and I say lovely in the loosest manner possible because she was an absolute menace her entire life, earning her the nickname the Yorkshire Witch. Mary was born in 1768 to a farming family in a town called Aisenby, just outside of York, taking a job as a domestic servant around the age of 12, which was usual for girls around her age. However, she went through multiple jobs in her teens as she couldn't hold one down as she had begun stealing at a very early age. At 20, she moved to York to become a dressmaker before fleeing to Leeds the next year after being involved in a burglary. And it was here over the next few years she began fortune telling, gaining quite the reputation. At 24, she married the wheelwright John Bateman, where as a married woman, her stealing took on new levels, being caught several times and bribing witnesses so they'd keep quiet. It is believed that her husband had no idea about her antics though, only finding out when he returned home one day to find that Mary Mary had sold off all of their furniture to pay off one of her victims. In 1796, John joined the army to try and get Mary away from Leeds, hoping to help her stealing addiction. However, they were back in York the next year, and Mary had once again returned to old habits. Mary was an absolute chancer and fraudster, begging for money and goods to help victims of poverty, but then she'd keep the goods, selling them off for a profit, and she also started leaning more into her fortune telling services, saying she could cure ailments in humans and animals, as well as influence the weather. She joined meetings of the followers of the renowned Christian prophet, Joanna Southcott, using her name to enhance her services, and in 1806, she created the hoax known as the Prophet Hen of Leeds. As previously mentioned, the eggs had Christ is coming written on them, a world ending message, and Mary displayed them and charged the public a pretty penny to see them. However, to nobody's surprise, when the hens were taken away from her, they seemingly stopped laying these prophetic eggs, with it found out that Mary had written on the eggs and then reinserted them back into the chickens. Poor chickens. It was the same year she would begin the journey to her own downfall as she was approached by William and Rebecca Perigo, as Rebecca was suffering from chest pains with Mary being recommended due to her overwhelming reputation. However, Mary didn't really care about them and only saw one thing in her eyes, money. She diagnosed Rebecca with having been put under a curse and charged the couple massive amounts for charms, cures and other absolute nonsense. In 1808, Mary began lacing food meant to cure Rebecca with poison, which eventually killed her. And her husband was strung along for a bit longer before accusing Mary of poisoning his wife after realising what she was selling was actually a massive scam. Mary professed her innocence, but poison was found in the search of her home and she was put in jail. At her trial in March 1809, lasting 11 hours, she was found guilty of fraud and murder with the sentence of death. However, she now claimed she was 22 weeks pregnant, as at the time pregnant women could plead the belly to avoid execution and get reduced sentences. A jury of 12 women were to assess Mary's body and they concluded she wasn't pregnant at all as her final attempt at fraud failed and she was hung on the 20th of March 1809. Afterwards her dead body was used in the way she lived as due to her reputation it was put on public display with them being charged a few pennies to see it as well as strips of her skin taken off and tanned and used as magical charms to cure disease and ward off evil spirits. A fitting end for her as she was used in death the way she had lived. So I've been Jamie's Day, your favourite day of the week and this was the tale of the Yorkshire Witch. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you've all enjoyed and join us tomorrow where we'll be getting transported through space and time. I'll see you all then. Peace.